Welcome to my YouTube channel, More in the Know. I'm Karen Morin. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the fascinating origin of Halloween candy! So, go grab a handful of candy and join me on a journey through the sweet, colorful world of these iconic holiday treats. Trick or treating, a time when children and some adults think about how to get as much candy as possible in one night. I know I did and still do. Usually hit the sales day after Halloween. But have you ever wondered how did some of these favorite candies come about and what did people do before candy was ever popular? Well, in ancient times, the tradition of trick or treating originated from the ancient Celtic festivals such as Samhain. During these festivals, people would go from house to house to collect fruits and nuts as offerings for the spirits. Back then, the focus wasn't on the sugary treats, but on wholesome foods that were readily available. Apples, for example, were a common treat given out during Samhain as they symbolized both the harvest season and the connection to the spirits. In addition to apples, other fruits such as pears and grapes were also given out. These fruits represented abundance and prosperity, and they were seen as a way to honor the spirits and ensure a bountiful season ahead. Nuts, such as hazelnuts and walnuts, were also very popular treats given out. These nuts were associated with wisdom and were believed to bring good luck. They were often used in divination practices during this time. Another interesting treat that trick-or-treaters would receive before candy became popular were homemade goodies. People would bake cookies, cakes, pies, and breads, and children would be very happy to accept these treats during their Halloween rounds. I know I'd take a little apple pie or something. These treats were made with love and care and often using the seasonal ingredients, such as apples and pumpkins, along with spices that were available. They provided a comforting, tasty experience for trick-or-treaters without the sugary sweetness that we associate with modern candies. As you can see, before candy ever took over as the go-to Halloween treat, trick-or-treaters enjoyed a variety of wholesome treats. The focus was more on the spirit of the season and the connection to nature. However, in the 1970s, parents became a little worried as children began venturing further and further from home. Stories of razor blades and poisoning being found in their kids' treats prompted them to look at pre-packaged candies. One of the first candies to become popular for Halloween was candy corn. This classic Halloween treat has been enjoyed for generations. Originally called chicken feed, it was created in the late 1880s by George Renninger an employee of the Wonder Lee Candy Company in Philadelphia. George was inspired by the brightly colored kernels of corn seen during the harvest season and decided to make his confections to resemble them. Using a combination of corn syrup, fondant, marshmallow cream, and vanilla, George created the first batch of chicken feed, or candy corn as we know it. Now, why was it called chicken feed? Well, at this time, many Americans owned farms and raised chickens. Corn was not something that was consumed by humans as it was too dry and flavorless. It was grown mainly as feed for chickens, hence chicken feed. The candy was handcrafted using a process called cornstarch modeling. Skilled artisans would pour the hot mixture into kernel-shaped molds, carefully layering the colors of white, orange, and finally, the yellow to create this iconic tricolored candy. In 1898, the Kulitz Candy Company, now known as the Jelly Belly Candy Company, purchased the recipe and started making chicken feed in large batches. It was packaged and sold in boxes with images of farmers and chickens on it. This simple and delicious treat quickly gained popularity, especially during Halloween. Its unique shape, vibrant colors and flavors made it a favorite among children and adults. By the early 20th century, advancements in candy manufacturing technology 
led to the mass production of candy corn, making it more readily available, therefore solidifying its place as a Halloween staple. Candy corn is primarily known for its classic tricolor appearance, yellow, orange, and white, but there are various flavors and color variations of it out there. Sorry, I'm trying to eat and talk at the same time. I don't know why I do that. Anyhow, the classic candy corn is made from honey, vanilla, and marshmallow fondant. But you will find other flavors, such as chocolate, apple, strawberry, pumpkin spice, caramel apple, and the list goes on and on. Candy corn manufacturers often experiment with new flavors for their consumers, offering them different options and catering to different tastes. Candy corn continues to be enjoyed by millions of Americans every year, invoking nostalgia and becoming a symbol for the Halloween season. Another Halloween treat or another Halloween favorite is chocolate. But did you know that chocolate bars weren't always a popular Halloween treat? In the early 1900s, Halloween was primarily associated with homemade treats like caramel apples, cookies, popcorn balls, and so forth. It wasn't until the 1920s that the convenience of prepackaged candy started to become more prevalent. It was during this time that the chocolate company saw an opportunity to promote their products. They realized that chocolate bars could be easily distributed and enjoyed by trick-or-treaters of all ages. One of the earliest chocolate bars specifically marketed for Halloween was the Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar. Introduced in the 1930s, this iconic chocolate bar quickly gained popularity and became a staple Halloween treat. It was wrapped in a special Halloween-themed wrapper featuring bats and pumpkins along with other spooky designs. This packaging, combined with a delicious taste of milk chocolate, made for a hit among trick-or-treaters. Other chocolate companies soon followed suit and started creating their own Halloween-themed candies. Companies like Nestle, Cadbury, and Mars introduced their own versions featuring different flavors and to designs. Today, chocolate bars are a beloved Halloween treat, from the classic milk chocolate to a decadent dark chocolate. There's something for everyone. So next time you enjoy a chocolate bar from your trick-or-treating expedition, remember the rich history behind this sweet treat and how it becomes such a Halloween favorite. If you enjoyed learning about the history of Halloween candies, forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you had a spectacular Halloween. And I can't open my candy. Thank you.